Statutory rape is sex with a minor under the age of consent. This is different from every other type of rape in which the person can have consent, but they don't. The most commonly used rationale is that typically, although a person may be biologically mature enough to desire sexual intercourse, he or she may not be lacking additional years of experience possessed by legal adults, may not be able to make mature, rational, intelligent decisions as to whom and how he or she engages in sexual contact. Thus, even if he or she willingly engages in sexual intercourse with a legal adult, his or her sex partner may well use the tactics of manipulation and deceit, against which the younger person has not yet developed sufficient discernment, defense, intelligence against. Now, I'm all libertarian, and I'm all me, so please excuse me. This is my largest point of contention. Even a teenager, I mean, God forbid, have enough intelligence and social sense to make informed, rational, mature, intelligent decisions about things that are of adult matters, including sex. Conversely, other people above the age of consent are idiots. They're, they're naive. They may well be up for grabs and manipulation and deceit for their entire lives. Easily manipulated, uninformed, immature. Come on. 16, 18, 17, 19, the number is arbitrary. What's happening here is we're doing the right thing for the majority, but the wrong thing for the minority. This entire construct of law is based on a single parameter that a group of people contained. Making vast generalizations based on that single number. Vast. Love and rape are big things. Oh god, did I just say love? 15 year olds, can they love? Is there an intelligence requirement on love? Is there an age requirement on love? When I say love, I'm not necessarily referring to the mythical, titanic, classical, forever, you know, eternal love. I'm referring to love as, like, psychologists put it, which includes limerences, crushes, romantic things, all that, because it's the same feelings. It's an exclusive set of feelings that you don't feel anywhere else. Although I wonder why I've never had a crush. That's for another video. A second rationale is used is that minors are less likely than adults to understand sexually transmitted infections and or to have knowledge and access to reliable methods of contraception or abortion. I believe that is completely untrue in today's American society. Try and find a teenager that has not been brainwashed, and I mean brainwashed. One, sex is bad. Two, you're gonna get HIV if you have sex. Three, you're gonna get pregnant if you have unprotected sex. And four, sex is bad. Statutory rape was constructed so that the state could help protect young, unwed, virgin females from vicious males who wanted to take their virginity and not take responsibility for babies or marriage. The original rationale was to preserve her virginity. The idea that maidens, virgins, unbroken hymens as an ideal. That's what you read in 18th century French and English literature. Completely outdated. Today's American society, no. And then based on an arbitrary number, they discriminate terribly against some people. Having a rape charge on you is about one of the worst things that you can get hit for. If it's five years discrepancy, that's a class two felony. And I did say discrimination, didn't I? Female on male stature of her rape is usually ignored. Excuse me, since when did we ignore some types of rape and pay attention to some other ones? Girls never want it. Guys always want it. Where did that idea even generate from? Maybe girls don't get orgasms from cleaning the kitchen floor, but they do get orgasms from penises and they like it, okay? Can our society get that in their head a little bit more? It's like everybody knows it, but they don't want to believe it. That's what I have to say about statutory rape. Based on old ideals and ideologies that we don't have anymore. And just bad laws.